Tech Fan Productions here, bringing you another quick video on how to navigate those brand new GUI slash menus that everybody has been hating. And this video is a quick tip. Now these new menus are fairly easy to navigate. I showed some other videos on how to upgrade. I'll talk at the very end about what the latest software is and, and what is probably coming down the pike. So as you see here in the guide, you'll see that as of late, they removed the logos to the left. So now it's just text uh, after the number. If you scroll all the way over to the left, you can actually see what the channel is. If you also scroll to the left, you can then see, if you see that little plus sign, that little plus sign in the left side of the guide shows you that it has on demand. So if you go all the way over to the left, I'll show a little bit later, you can actually click on it and go on to the on demand. Uh, now with the rem logos removed from the guide, it does go up and down much faster. You also notice that uh, over time they have, and I'll show a little later too, how they've changed the menus to be a little bit clearer and a little bit better color. Now this is what most people complain about. There are absolutely no options for making any changes in the guide. So I know a lot of folks have asked that. The answer is in there. So if you want to go into, a lot of folks don't know where their recordings are, how to get to them quickly, there is a list button on any of the recent remotes. It's on the upper right hand side. If you hit the list button, you can go into your playlist. You'll see now that it's sort of in a poster format. You're going to click on that poster format to go into the actual recording itself. And that way you can either start the recording or you go into the folder of the recording. So as you see here, it says on watch two of two. If you go into the folder, then you'll see that the two uh, videos and you can watch those two videos as you want. So as you see here also you can hit the chin a little quick tip here you can hit the channel up and channel down button to quickly go up and down from all recordings to the end so that way you can skip having to go using the arrow to go all the way down to from the start or from the top to the bottom. Again you're just going to hit the channel up and the channel down that's a quick way to get up and down in the menu. A lot of folks don't know where their series are, their recording history, purchase history, manual recording setup, and typical recording preferences. Again, that's going to be in the Manage Recordings. Hit the List button, go to the left, go all the way down, and you'll see Manage Recordings. That's where everything is. Real simple, real easy, not that hard to find. I know it takes a while with these new menus. A lot of folks are not happy with what they're seeing. They're very upset with DirecTV. Uh, they'll leave comments where they're almost very upset with me for this happening, and uh, I have nothing to do with it. <laughs> I don't work for them. I don't support them. Uh, the only thing I do is, just like you, I'm a customer, and I'm just trying to help other folks understand what they are seeing and maybe help navigate the new menus. Another thing you do is hit the menu button. You'll see now that you can go into view guide. You can go, those are the latest stuff, the playlist. Here's your recordings again. Uh, you can also scroll to the left and go down quicker, or you can just stay to the right. Here's on all the on-demand. And then as you go further down, you can do discovery. This is all as it pretty much was before. It just looks slightly different. You know, the old menus kind of had this too. Uh, this particular menu system is kind of clearing everything up and making it easier for you to view and see for someone. And some people don't like it like the old menus. I agree. I think that with the new menus, you're kind of getting a little more information. Uh, in there. And one of the things I've added too is that if you scroll all the way to the left, you can go on the program, hit select, and you're going to go right to the on demand. Now, this might have been in the old menus. I actually can't remember as I'm saying this, but it's real simple, real easy. Again, remember that plus sign. The plus sign allows you to know that there is on demand content available. So you can just scroll all the way to the left. The box will pop up, select it, and then you can go into the individual selections here. This stuff's pretty straightforward. There's really nothing that's new in here other than that it's a quick way to get to the on-demand content for some of your favorite channels. Uh, going back to the guide, you'll see that uh, you can basically scroll to the left. So it's a little bit confusing if you scroll to the left. And then again, you can hit that channel up and down to go uh, up and down to the bottoms. Now, the next thing you would want to do potentially is make sure a lot of folks don't realize this. When they get the new software pushed to them, it resets the resolution that their TV is at. I won't say this happens all the time, but sometimes I've seen this happen. One thing you want to do is you want to go into settings, you want to scroll to the right, and you want to go on display. And when you go on display, and you can also go on audio as well, those are two things you want to check. I'll, say, I'll show you the audio first. The audio, you want to go down to the bottom. If you have Dolby Audio, you want to make sure it's set, but somehow in the latest software, and this is version 1088, this is currently what's being pushed out, 
you'll see in the menu that it says W Audio and then it says Standard Audio, but when you click on it, you see absolutely nothing. It shows kind of as a darkened uh, that it's auto detected. And one thing you'll notice, and it's a good place to see where the old fonts and the new fonts have changed. So there was definitely been a change in some of these later menus and earlier menus. And if you want to see what they are in the version 1088, which is currently what's being pushed out to everybody, if you go back between the audio settings menu and a couple other menus, you'll see how the font and text changes. I'm not sure why they have. See how it goes back here? You see it's fuzzy a little bit. But this is the standard. So they have some other way of actually making it clear or whatnot, but, but it's inconsistent. It's only in the later menus. Some other things to know in preferences, a big thing to make things go much quicker. And I'll go back to that as I go through this menu here. There's some preferences that you want to change to make the guide a little bit easier to navigate as well. As, and again, as you see here, see how the resolution changed? This is going from one resolution to another. Which one do you like better? Well, actually, I like the resolution that they're not currently using, which is the one that you're seeing here. It's unfortunate, but it's kind of the way it is. So one thing to do is change the native on and off. The native resolution I set to off. That means that when a program is 1080i, it will stay to 1080i. It won't go back and forth to whatever the native is. So if the native is 720, it won't automatically switch. Why do you want to do this? Well, and the answer is you want to set it so that way you can go back and forth the channels and not have it switched between different ones. There's an option for you want to set or not. Uh, I actually leave it on, let it go native to whatever they're programming. Like Fox in my area is... Uh, 720p, which I don't particularly care for, but you know, I just left it native. Nothing to do is go back into TV resolutions and make sure that you have all your proper settings set. If you have a 4K TV and a 4K box, then you want to make sure that checkbox is set. You want to make sure the others are checked as well. And you'll notice if you don't, sometimes you'll just be defaulted to the other, to the lowest one, and everything will look low resolution. Another thing to do in preferences, make sure to set the scrolling effects to off. If you leave the scrolling effects on in the guide, it will slow the guide down immensely. So I highly recommend to go in there and turn off scrolling effects. That is one of the biggest things I can offer to you out of the entire system is to do scrolling effects off. And a lot of people ask, how do I change my banner time settings? I leave it to the default of four, but some people might think that that's too long. You can change or you can make it longer. Maybe you're not able to see it quick enough. You can change from four to six seconds. You think they would have given you more than four options, but guess they felt that's all they could program into it. So another quick tip for you is if you hit the info button and you'll see that there are messages, info, CC, last four, favorites, audio and video, and parental. And one thing is a quick thing to show you what resolution you're at. Most people don't know this. If you go to audio and video and you click on change resolution and format, you'll see that in the left hand side it tells you what your current resolution is at. This is a good little tip to see, hey, where am I at? And you can also uh, make changes from there to take your change menu, but I'm just going to hit done here. So what are the new menus going to look like that they're pushing out? Well, supposedly in the next few months or to sometime over the summer, they're going to push out menus that uh, have better guide uh, visibility, maybe some other colors, some other fonts. Drop Who knows? I don't know. I hope they do something better. Everybody's asking for it. Uh, but it does take a little while to get used to the new menu. So, hey, thanks for watching. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Have a great day.